is not good now. Let me put this one towards myself because I need to. Is it 11? I thought it was 10. Because I still have to write my book tonight. I have to attack of banana. Ah. People of Nigeria, Una good evening from London. If this is your first time of coming to my YouTube, yes, it's really a pretty new uh, YouTube in the sense that I haven't been posting on my YouTube. I beg, uh, support me by subscribing to my YouTube as you listen to this video. I have I have this video to do because um, last night something dramatic happened. I sit down from my house like this as usual. One video came in about this time last night between 10 and 11. I see this video coming of this woman when they when they lament bitterly. No no child, no husband. Begging Oga Mike Adenuga to make him leave him alone. Mike Adenuga being Oga, one of the Ogas of Nigeria, because the guy in a, in a heavy pocket. I me, I become I became quite interested though, because trust me, all those kind of things they sweet me. Now big man story. I wanted to know what it was about. And not long, my dear friends who in post time to also post the story behind. And another friend kindly sent me the, the, the summary to the whole story. Apparently, this sister Nora was uh, Oga Adenuga's personal assistant. And also the second fiddle to the madam when he get the whole dick. Oh. And Sister Nora didn't just do it for one year or two years or three years, but she did it for 30 years. Huh. Some women are big, they patient, or they get, they get big heart for loyalty. He followed Oga Adenuka for 30 whole years. They carry, they, they arrange all in personal appointments, uh, uh, private appointments. They follow him from one country to another, maybe, enjoying all the soft bed for hotel, sleep for for sweet for for seven star hotel, speak sweet nothings to a guy here early in the morning when she gets opportunity to reach there when a guy no one go home. Uh, shake waist for a guy when a guy tired for madam, playing all the. Or the how did they call like Jagorova on Oga's chest for 30 years? Sister Nora Nora forgets her own self. She forgets about her own future. She forgets about having her own children. She forgets about setting up her own family. She forgets for 30 years old, not 30 days, we are talking about 30 years here. Sister Nora enjoy all the caviar and champagne. Forget about establishing her own family, getting her own life set up. Me, I ask, who, do, who does that? I ask my friends when he sent to me, say, which person in her right senses will do something like that? Go stay for 30 years, not, not one year, not two years, not three years, for 30 years, stay with one man, warming his bed, Playing second fiddle, God forbid. I personally don't think this is a normal situation. Sister Nora, I go one make you answer us Nigerians. How you stay for 30 years? Being personal assistant, where that one at work, I understand that one. You can, it means you you good for you to keep that job for 30 years. But being a girl's second fiddle. Being a girl's bed woman, being a girl's lover for 30 whole years without thinking about having your own children, establishing your own family, whether you marry or not, just having your own children, being a mother to children, having your own husband, or not being able to have your own husband but having your own kids. Why you not remember that, Sister Nora? Why are you not lamenting? 30 years is a long time. I'll tell you how long 30 years is. 
Me when I sit down here, I have a, a son who is 28 years old. And for somebody to count 28 years as being the age of a son, it means I had carried that baby for nine months. Except na premature, you go born at seven months, but I had my full term, it, it was even overdue. I had my baby for nine months. Add that one to 28 years, when, because it don't pass now. We are talking about 29 years ago. A, a child was born. From the point when man sleep with you, don't born with that because once that thing go into the womb, now human being begin form. So the actual delivery birthday where we the right and all that not be the actual one at the day when they fuck you when that thing enter. Now that day when that picking begin form hand and leg, now, now, now human being start. So a child was born. My child went through all the things when he's supposed to do for life, crawl, waka. Go primary one, go nursery, finish, go primary one, go uh, through primary school, finish primary school, go secondary, finish secondary school, do A levels because for where we, my children, they go to school, they have to have the A levels. So they don't just end up with GCSE, they have to have the advanced GCSE. Do that one for two years, finish, go university, do degree do masters and today he's a senior manager in his office 28 years old and for 30 years sister nora you were warming this gentleman's bed you were doing your job quite all right but you were also supplying sex for 30 years without thinking about yourself and i asked that question last night who does that but sister nora you did I'm very sorry you never thought about yourself. The money switched you to the extent you didn't think about yourself. You were the most foolish of women. But am I here to judge you? No, I'm not. Because I don't know why you were so foolish. And there was nobody in your family to tell you or to remind you that you needed to plan for your own life. You needed your own family. Or did they tell you and you chose not to listen? Now, when... Wind don't blow now. Fire on Nash don't take ground. You were crying, no child, no husband. You should have thought about this maybe about 15, 20 years ago. If a guy said, no, 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 you can't have somebody else, I won't take that. Why didn't you have his baby? Because you were scared of losing all the benefits. Because he may have threatened, if you have any child for me, I'll walk away, I won't maintain you, I'll withdraw. My sister, you should you would still have been better off having your own child but it's too late to cry when the head is off so i'll leave that one for others i know people may tell me of for saying this but the truth is nothing compares to having your own child nothing your brother's child is good it could be your nephew or your niece very sweet but nothing like your own Take it from somebody who knows. Because I have my own children. I have loads of nieces and nephews. They are my children as well. But it's still good to have that experience of, of having your own child. Raising your own child. So you have, lo you have lost there. You have missed out. Now, I come to Oga Adenuga. Uncle, good evening, sir. God bless you, sir. Although I've never heard your name before in this uh, regard. But... Now that I'm hearing, I'm not, I'm not too shocked. I'll tell you why I'm not. As a Nigerian, I grew up in, you know, studying in Nigeria. I went through university in Nigeria. So I know that it's common practice for married men, rich men, to actually seek out young ladies. And this, all this write-up your friends are doing to say you never had any close relationship. Oga, okay, forget that story because we are not buying it. With the way that auntie carry for front and back, I know by that story. I know, say, she warm your bed. But, Oga, okay, you are forgetting one simple thing, her loyalty to you. This woman was there when your business wasn't as large as it is now. This woman was with you through very difficult times because there's hardly any human being who has no difficult time, times. I'm sure you had anxious moments during your business times. This woman was there by your side. No matter what she may have done, 
that is so wrong. I hear she ha she stole from you. Don't take everything, sir. Don't take everything, sir. Pardon. Let let your human conscience. Let your human conscience uh, play here, please, sir. Don't let. Don't take everything from this woman. You need to think about her physical and mental well well being. She has no family of her own. The only little joy left are those things. I'm not saying don't take things you think she's stolen from you, but the house she lives in, I beg, sir, leave it for her. The car she drives, I beg, sir, because of the lifestyle she's had with you, leave that house a car for her. And if if you really want to help, maybe give her some more money to start her business of her own, like 500000 Yes, sir, please, in the name of God, don't take that house from her. 30 years is a long time for anybody to be loyal. No matter what she's stolen from you. Yes, I know she was doing it for her own selfish gains. But also look at her life. She has no children of her own. She has no husband of her own. All because of her dedication to you. If you take that house and you take everything she's ever owned, you are a very wicked man. Please, sir, for God's sake, don't take everything. Leave her with a house, a roof over her head. Because at her level now, it will be difficult for her to start all over again. If you want to take that house because it's expensive, look for one, even if it's just a two-flat house. Give it to her, sir. Please, sir. I'm begging you. Remember the good old days. The days she, she, she brought joy to your heart. The days you screamed into her ear when you were coming. The days you licked her, her, her all over. Oh, God, sir. She gave you joy at some point. I'm begging you, sir. I'm kneeling down. I'm begging you. Don't take everything from her. I'm begging you, sir. Don't take everything from her. Leave her with some things to remember you. Yes, the relationship may have gone sour because of her greed. But it's possible too, you never gave her enough. I don't know what, what your relationship was like. I cannot judge any of you in this regard. But all I'm begging you is, don't take everything. Because me, when you see so, even if you gave me $10 billion, I would still have gone to have my own husband and have my own children. Or gone to have my own children. There is no way I would have that kind of money. I would not get a husband to marry to. That kind of money when she don't see. Me never see that kind of one before. That was why she was lost. I'm begging you, sir. I beg you, sir. I don't know which way you both to take, tell you, sir. Make you, make you have mercy a bit. Make you leave some things for her. Things that you can leave for her. A little roof over her head. And a little car for her to drive. I beg, sir. I beg. Don't don't let the anger in you drive you to wickedness. Because anything outside that is going to be complete wickedness. If you take the car from this woman, you are a very... If you take the house from this woman, you are a very wicked man. But if you take that house and you give her another one that you feel befits her status... We will also thank you, sir. Don't, but don't strip her of everything. Remember the days she warmed your bed. Remember the days you touched her breast. You sucked on those breasts. I'm begging you, sir. That is my own contribution to this. As for Sister Nora, I pray she finds peace within herself because right now she's quite distressed. So, Ogasa, now my own be that too. I beg you, Uncle, I beg. In the name of God, don't strip her of everything. You know, I beg, not strip him. I take God, beg you, sir. Have mercy. And, and let that uh, uh, Christ in you minister to you. I beg you, sir. May God bless you for having a bit of mercy in you. And for seeing that this woman had been loyal to you for 30 years. I beg. 30 years too long when somebody they suffer like When somebody go end up with nothing. Even when you work for, for government for 30 years. Now, full pension you they get. With the way she has been sacked now, she has no pension. She has no children. She has no husband. I beg, sir. Let her get some money. I am not saying it's right for her to have stolen from you. 
But at the end of the day, she's still human. I'm begging you, sir. Don't take everything from her. May God bless you. As God touch, uh, is going to touch your heart. I beg, sir. Don't take everything from her. I beg. She needs to. She needs something to rely on. May God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a good evening. As usual, this is Essie Duchess. Thank you, sir. God bless. Bye.